Un coup de cœur. President, please be seated. Président, veuillez vous asseoir. The court is now in session. Today, the chamber continues to hear the testimony of witness Kai Lure. And if it's possible, we'll start hearing testimony of a reserve witness. In fact, there are two. Two TCW901. And another one is through TCW830. The latter witness is in relation to the first January Dam work site. Grafje, please report the attendance of the parties and other individuals at today's proceedings. Second would be Mr. President for today's proceedings. All parties to this case are present. Mr. Nunji is present in the holding cell downstairs. He has waived his right to be present in the courtroom. His waiver has been delivered to the grave. The witness who is to conclude his testimony today, that is Mr. Kai Lu, is present and ready in the courtroom. We have two reserve witnesses, namely to TCW901 and to TCW830. Both witnesses confirm through their best knowledge they are not related by blood or by law to any of the two accused, that is Nunchi and Kyo Sumpon, or to any of the civil parties admitted in this case. The two witnesses will be we we'll take an oath before their testimonies. President, thank you. The chamber now decides on the request by Nguyen Chia. The chamber has received a waiver from Nguyen Chia dated 15 June 2015, which notes that due to his health, there is headache and back pain, he can not sit or concentrate for long. And in order to effectively participate in future hearings, he requires to waive his rights to participate in and be present at the 15 June 2015 hearing. He advises that his counsel advised him about the consequence of this waiver that in no way can be construed as a waiver of his rights to be tried fairly or to challenge evidence presented or admitted to this court at any time during this trial. Having seen the medical report of Nguyen Chi by the duty doctor for the accused at the ECCC, dated 15 June 2015, who notes that Nguyen Chi has a back pain, headache, and dizziness and recommends that the chamber shall grant him his request so that he can follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs. Based on the above information and pursuant to Rule 815 for the ECCC internal rules, the chamber grants Nuji his request to follow the proceedings remotely from the holding cell downstairs when audiovisual means. The AV unit personnel are incited to link the proceedings to the room downstairs so that Nunchi can follow the proceedings remotely. That applies for the whole day. The chamber now gives the floor <coughs> to the co-prosecutors and the lead co-lawyers for civil parties, and the remaining time for the two parties are one session. You may proceed. Good morning, Mr. President, Your Honours, Council, and Witness, good morning to you. Witness, last um, Friday we talked about your experiences at Camp Hong Chnang airfield and we also talked about your experiences at uh, Kniom Kop Sarai. 
I'd like to briefly talk about your experiences after you came into Phnom Penh and you were stationed at the Calmet Hospital or near the Calmet Hospital. In your interview with uh, DC Cam, you said that you saw some torture near there. Can you expl uh, please explain who you, who you saw being tortured? Answer, I did not know uh, that person. And what type of torturing did you see of that person? I saw the person being tied and hanged on a tree a branch. And who was doing that? I did not know the person who did it. Uh, were they Khmer Rouge troops? Yes, they were uh, Khmer Rouge soldiers. And did you see this torture of, uh, of anyone else? in addition to this person near the Calmet Hospital. Yes, indeed. About how many times did you see different people being tortured, approximately? I witnessed 30 cases of people being tortured. And do you know why they were being tortured? Question, et savez-vous pourquoi ils étaient torturés? From what I heard, they were accused of being in the enemy network. And you said in your statement, your DC CAM statement, that it was military troops that were being tortured. Is that correct? Khmer Rouge troops. Yes, indeed, I made that a statement. And was this torturing at the Calmet uh, hospital area, was that before you went to Kenyom Kopsarai for uh, work, then temporary? At that time, I was a disabled soldier staying at the divisional office. And was that in 
1975 or 1976 or 1977. Can you put a, a time on it, please? I can recall that uh, it was in 1975. Thank you. Did you ever become aware uh, in your work as a, a military soldier um, of a decision of the Central Committee of the 30th of March 1976, which gave um, the authority of certain groups the right to smash, the right to kill, inside and outside the Khmer Rouge ranks? Did you ever become aware of a decision like that. Please repeat your question. I don't fully get it. Did you ever know about the decision from the Central Committee of the Communist Party of Kampuchea giving the authority to different groups within the Khmer Rouge the right to smash or the right to kill inside or outside the ranks, inside or outside the military? Did you ever know of that decision? No, I did not hear anything about that. And those people that you said that you saw being tortured, about 30 cases, 30 different people, were they from Division 310 or were they from somewhere else? Some of them were soldiers in Division 310, while others were former soldiers. And you said this was in 1975. At that time, do you know why uh, these men were accused of being traitors. I did not know about that at the time as I was a disabled soldier Moi, and I did not know about the internal affairs. Uh, you testified that in about 1977, before uh, you were tempered or intensively tempered, as you said, that you were brought to a meeting, and this is in your uh, statement, at uh, E3565, English E00863305, and the Khmer in French is in E3568, triple zero two zero six seven seven for Khmer, and French 0081-2791. Sorry, the <coughs> um, that's actually the wrong passage. I'll get to that in a moment. Um, the passage I'm referring to 
is uh, English E3565 ERN 0086. 3304, Khmer 0002-0676-7, and French 0081-2790. To uh, the DC CAM interviewer, you said that uh, once UN, the division head, was arrested, there was a meeting call and there was a tape that was played. Une a été and the tape recording, uh, you said, was a description of Un and Ta Kim's biographies, starting from the period of their struggle during the revolution until the period of their traitorous activities. Do you remember that tape being played to you at a meeting? Quand Um et Kun ont été arrêtés de la division, they called the soldiers and disabled soldiers like myself to attend a, a study session where the tape was played. And as far as you know, when you heard that tape, were the traitorous activities that were talked about, were they true? Les activités de traîtrise qui étaient évoquées dans ces bandes sonores étaient-elles vraies? Madame Khayat. From what I heard on the tape, he himself confessed that he was a traitor. And as far as you know, um, at that time, or before his arrest, were you aware of Un uh, attempting to overthrow the leadership of the Khmer Rouge or not? I knew that uh, Division C and Tan with Un and Kim, where the commanders were about to overthrow the Khmer Rouge force. Dont cette personne était le dirigeant était sur le point de renverser la force. And Khmer how did you know about that? Question et comment l'aviez-vous appris? I saw weapons being transported, and when I asked why those weapons were being transported, I was told that I should mind my own business. And in your statement, and I gave the ERN numbers earlier, um, did you have any involvement in preparing foods? You said that you had involvement in preparing food supplies. Is that? Is that vous correct or not? Food supplies to assist in the organization of the troops for this uh, planned takeover. Le ravitaillement alimentaire pour en vue du renversement pour les troupes. I was asked to assist in packaging the food. Can you tell the court, was there ever, um, well firstly, did the, uh, was the plan implemented? 
si le plan a été the plan that was discussed, the plan you prepared for, prévu, did it happen? Celui pour lequel vous aviez was there any takeover attempt? A-t-il été mis à exécution, c'est-à-dire y a-t-il eu tentative de renversement? President, uh, witness, please uh, wait. And Defence Counselor Kong Sam On, do you have the floor? Kong Sam On, thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make an observation regarding the last question by the Deputy Co Prosecutor. The question to put to a question to put to a, a witness whether the uh, plan was initiated si or, or concluded si was difficult for the witness to give a response. The witness already testified that he participating fait, in the packaging of food supplies and saw weapons being trans, uh, transported, and that shows the limit of his involvement. And when it is about whether the plan was achieved or not, it will be beyond his capacity. Thank you. Well, we don't quite know. I, I need to ask the witness the question. Um, then, if the witness says he doesn't know anymore, then, I'll, of course, I'll stop and I'll move to another topic. Within your involvement, packaging food, do you know whether, in fact, there was a takeover attempt using weapons? Did that, in fact, happen or not, as far as you know? No, the plan was uh, never realized as the main people involved the in the attempt were arrested. Bon now, with all of the arrests you talked about, the arrest of uh, the divisional head, UN, deputies, uh, battalion commanders, company commanders, uh, members from your unit, uh, members from Battalion 317. To your knowledge, from what you observed, did any of those people resist arrest from the troops that came to take them away? Was there any fighting? Was there any resistance to any of these arrests? I did not know about that at the time. But from all of the arrests that you saw at the meetings at Kniom Kop Sarai, uh, the tortures that you saw at Kalmet, the few arrests that you saw at Kampong Chnang, from the ones that you saw the arrests and the tortures, did you see any attempt to resist or fight back? That time, I did not see any signs of attempts to resist or to fight back since they were unarmed. Thank you. And of all the arrests that you saw, all of the arrests that you heard about in your division, did you ever hear of any one of those people being given a trial, a public trial, to be able to challenge any accusation that was made against them?
No, I because did not no. see any of that. Je rien vu de ça. And Question. do you know what the reason was why there was this uh, plan la to over for overthrow the leadership? Do you know why a plan was put in place, the reason why people wanted to overthrow the leadership? At that time, I did not know the real reason. Réponse à cette époque-là, je ne connaissais pas la vraie raison. The the practice of the practice of torture that you saw at the Calmet Hospital. La pratique de torture in 1975. How was that viewed by um, the troops that you were with? Was that a welcome practice? Or was that one in which it scared people in your unit? At that time, I was a disabled soldier, and I kept asking why people were being beaten up. Those soldiers threatened me to keep my mouth shut and and not to put my or to, not to poke my finger into their business. When. Uh, the arrests of uh, people from your unit and Division 310, when uh, they started to occur, when you started to become first aware of those arrests, were you also aware of arrests of other CPK uh, troops around the country at that time? I knew uh, from Réponse what I heard de ce que entendu dire that the arrests were made first in the southwest zone, then in the north zone. Été fait dans la zone et dans la zone nord. Just have to uh, finish on uh, one or two very short topics. And one is uh, your statement Question that you made to ECC investigators that you saw Yang Sari Nguyen Chia in K-Pok at the Camp Hong Chenang airfield. How many times did you see Nguyen Chia at the airfield? I understand from your statement that uh, you didn't see Q Sampan at the airfield. However, you did say in response to this question. E3 slash 467, English 00205074, Khmer 00170620, and French 00205078. You are asked the question, did you see any leaders at the airfield? And you said, I saw Yang Sari. Et vous avez répondu, j'ai vu Yang Sari, Nguyen Chia et Kepok venir visiter l'aéroport. 
So is that now not your evidence that you didn't see Nguyen Chia? Or does Dites that refresh your memory that, that you did? Or passage that I just read, will you refresh it in your memory? Answer. I may Réponse. have forgotten it because it happened a long time ago. Parce que cela s'est passé il y a très longtemps. Thank you. Question. Merci. Just one or two last questions. Encore this is about questions. the structure of uh, Division 310. In, in a document that the court has received, Dans it's E3 slash 1585. And we don't need to show it on the screen, thank you. Um, and it's dated the 20th of October 1976. And at that time, in October 76, it states that Comrade Un was the secretary of the division. And uh, Comrade Vung, Vung as the deputy chief of division. You mentioned earlier that um, Ta Kim Vous avez dit was the deputy Ta chief Kim of 310. Was Ta Kim replaced Ta Kim at any time and replaced by Comrade Vaughan? Or Vaughan? do you have another um, explanation why Comrade Vaughan appears as uh, the deputy chairman of 310 in October 76? Answer, I may have forgotten it. Thank you. Uh, Mr. President, I have no further questions. Merci, j'en ai terminé, Monsieur le Président. President. Now the floor is given to the legal lawyer for civil parties. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour à tous. Thank you, Mr. Bonjour, President. Monsieur le témoin. Good morning, everyone. Good morning, je m'appelle Marie Guiraud et je Marie suis avocate Giro. internationale pour les parties civiles. J'aurai quelques questions à vous poser et je céderai la parole parties. à ma consoeur Chet Van Lee en, en fin de, de session. To Mes questions, questions porteront Chet uniquement sur votre expérience sur le site de construction de l'aéroport de Kampenstein. Je voudrais commencer avec une question relative à votre arrivée sur le site de l'aéroport. Vous avez indiqué vendredi que vous étiez arrivé le 15 janvier 1978 et qu'est-ce que cette date vous avait marqué. Je voulais savoir si vous étiez arrivé seul avec les membres de votre unité ou êtes-vous arrivé ce jour-là avec d'autres unités sur le site in Kampung Chenang, I uh, was not only among my group members, there were other members from uh, different groups, 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 units. When you were interviewed je me réfère by au document E3 bar 56 58 ERN en anglais 0086-3291, Khmer 0002066-7, Français 0081-27-81. Vous avez déclaré ceci concernant le jour de votre arrivée, le 15 janvier 1978. Vous avez déclaré, et je vous cite, « Il y avait un très grand nombre de personnes qui venaient de différentes unités. Elles étaient des milliers, tous les adultes, sans exception. » Est-ce que cette déclaration est conforme à vos souvenirs 
in line with what you remember. Answer, I could recall that during that time, a former soldier who were affiliated with the former regime were taken to work at that place. Saviez-vous à l'époque quelles autres divisions étaient arrivées sur le site le même jour que vous, c'est-à-dire le 15 janvier 1978 Answer. I have no idea. I Je n'en sais rien. Knew that I was at the site on that day. Je savais que j'étais sur ce site ce jour-là. Y a-t-il eu une réunion à votre arrivée sur le site à laquelle vous avez was assisté? Was any meeting held upon your arrival at that site? Mark. Answer. There were instructions relayed to us about the construction of the airport, and uh, we were also instructed to uproot and pull out uh, grass. Je voudrais vous lire un passage de vos déclarations devant les co-juges d'instruction, devant les enquêteurs. Le document E3. 467, ERN anglais 002-05-074, Khmer 0017-06-20, Français 0020-50-78. Vous évoquez une réunion, donc je vais vous lire ce que vous aviez déclaré à l'époque et j'aurai quelques questions à vous poser sur ce que vous avez déclaré. Vous disiez à l'époque... À la réunion, on nous a averti que nous devions nous forger, puisque nos chefs étaient traîtres et que si nous refusions de le faire, nous serions arrêtés. C'était grand-père Le Veil, venant de la zone du nord-ouest, qui était le responsable de l'aéroport. Y a-t-il eu, monsieur le témoin, le jour de votre arrivée ou les jours peut-être suivant votre arrivée, une réunion présidée par Le Veil à laquelle vous avez assisté I could say the tempering meeting. I rarely saw Dalloway in the meeting. I noticed that he was in the vehicle for a brief moment and I had no chance to meet him at all. Quand vous dites qu'il s'agissait d'une réunion de rééducation, pouvez-vous expliquer ce qui vous a été dit à l'occasion de cette réunion Vous parliez dans votre audition devant les enquêteurs, qu'on vous avait averti qu'il fallait vous forger puisque vos chefs étaient des traîtres. Est-ce que c'est des paroles dont vous vous souvenez aujourd'hui were former soldiers who were affiliated with the former regime and uh, all soldiers needed to be tempered from this time onward. And uh, we were not allowed to make any complaint. We were told to bear the situation if uh, we underwent uh, the hard labor and uh, we were told that uh, our former superiors uh, had non, been affiliated with the former regime and they were all arrested. We were told to work hard and uh, we also urged and warned that if anyone did not work hard, they si would be arrested and tortured. Dur, 
lors de cette réunion de rééducation dont vous venez de parler, y avait-il uniquement les membres de votre unité ou y avait-il d'autres soldats, d'autres unités Pouvez-vous estimer le nombre de personnes qui assistaient à cette réunion On parle d'une d'une dizaine, d'une cinquantaine, d'une centaine, de plus de 100 personnes. Est-ce que vous pouvez un petit peu donner une, une indication du nombre dont vous vous souvenez Dozens of people, hundreds of people, thousands of people. Can you give us a ballpark figure as to the number of people who attended that meeting How many members, how many people were in each meeting? There were hundreds of them in each meeting. Quand vous dites à chaque réunion, avez-vous par la suite, lors de votre séjour sur le chantier, assisté à d'autres réunions de rééducation Et si oui, vous souvenez-vous à peu près combien de réunions y avait-il à l'époque J'ai dû participer à plusieurs réunions. Saviez-vous à l'époque qui présidait ces réunions Did you know at the time who chaired those meetings Je n'osais pas les regarder droit dans les yeux. Avez-vous vu à l'occasion de ces réunions des personnes qui ont été arrêtées et emmenées those meetings, did you see any people being arrested and led away J'ai vu que des gens étaient emmenés. Avez-vous par la suite revu ces personnes sur le chantier Did you subsequently see those people again on the work site Je ne les ai plus revus une fois qu'ils ont été arrêtés. Vous avez indiqué vendredi avoir effectué deux séjours à Camp Ponchnag, une première fois avec votre unité pour soldats handicapés et puis un deuxième séjour après une, une formation à Phnom Penh. Je voulais vous poser une question sur votre premier séjour, les premiers mois que vous aviez passé à, à arracher de la terre. Est-ce que vous pouvez donner une indication à la Chambre sur le nombre de personnes qu'il y avait dans votre unité dans les premiers mois où vous étiez à Camp Anchenang, vous n'avez pas été très précis vendredi. Est-ce qu'on parle d'une dizaine de travailleurs Est-ce qu'on parle d'une centaine, de plusieurs centaines Est-ce que vous pouvez nous, nous donner un, une estimation Lorsque l'on m'a demandé d'arracher l'herbe, j'étais au côté de 30 membres de mon unité et il y avait des milliers d'ouvriers qui appartenaient à d'autres unités. Donc lors de ces premiers mois, lorsque vous arrachiez la terre, vous travaillez au sein d'une unité de 30 personnes, mais vous travaillez aux côtés d'un millier de travailleurs Est-ce que j'ai bien compris ce que, ce que vous avez déclaré Merci. 
worker to work at the tra- airport work site. Le sur le de I met uh, many workers, but uh, when it came to uh, sleeping time, uh, we slept uh, in our own places or quarters. Dormir, we, ne- we did not know each other. Nous nous ne les uns les Est-ce que le millier de travailleurs dont vous parliez et aux côtés de qui vous travaillez pour arracher la l'herbe était également habillée en vêtements noirs comme vous l'avez décrit euh, vendredi dernier oui ils portaient des vêtements noirs vous venez d'indiquer que vous voyez beaucoup de travailleurs pendant la journée, que vous travaillez à leur côté, mais que la nuit, vous rentriez chacun dans des dortoirs séparés. Pouvez-vous expliquer où vous dormiez à l'époque arrested west of the airport in their respective groups or units. Et vous-même, où dormiez-vous Dormiez-vous par exemple sur le, le site du chantier ou à l'extérieur du site On the work site or outside of the work site outside of the airport a work site a, b- a bit away from a dead work site à quelques distances de ce chantier quelle était la distance entre le l'endroit où vous dormiez et l'endroit où vous travaillez from where you were sleeping and where you worked La distance was entre about les unités ou les squads était de 20 à 30 mètres. Ce que j'aimerais savoir, monsieur le témoin, c'est euh, lorsque vous vous réveillez le matin et que vous alliez travailler, quelle était la distance et quel était le temps que vous mettiez pour parcourir la distance entre l'endroit où vous dormiez et l'endroit où vous deviez travailler Est-ce que c'était loin Est-ce que c'était près Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner une indication par rapport à ça Answer. The sleeping squatters, the distance from the, the sleeping quarter and uh, the work site was about one kilometer. Pouvez-vous rapidement décrire l'endroit où vous dormiez? Est-ce qu'il y avait un toit, des murs, des hamacs, des moustiquaires. Est-ce que vous pouvez nous donner une description de l'endroit où vous dormiez à l'époque Ils ont construit une petite maison made out of the leaves made out of leaves and there were no blankets for us to uh, cover ourselves. Il n'y avait pas de couverture, nous ne pouvions pas nous couvrir avec des couvertures. Combien de personnes dormaient avec vous dans cette maison que vous venez de décrire In that shelter you have just described to us. Khnong moi pia ke da 15 na There were 15 uh, people in one uh, shelter or one house. Il y avait 15 personnes par abri, par maison. Je vous remercie. Vous avez indiqué vendredi Thank you. On Friday, euh, l'existence de ce que nous avons compris, en tout cas en traduction euh, française, d'une unité médicale. Est-ce que vous pouvez expliquer ce que vous entendiez par ce terme-là d'unité médicale Can you explain to us what you meant by that term, medical unit
Quel type de médicaments vous en avez le souvenir Do you remember what kinds of medicines were administered? Answer. The human-made medicines, the traditional ones, the not the, the medicines from the other countries. Non pas des médicaments provenant d'autres pays. Saviez-vous à l'époque s'il existait un hôpital à Kampongstang? Do you know whether a hospital existed at Kampongstang? They had, but there were none. There was none at my place. Il n'y en avait pas là où j'étais, mais cela existait. Avez-vous le souvenir qu'un des membres de votre unité ait pu un jour être envoyé à l'hôpital quand il était vraiment malade? Your unit was sent to the hospital whenever he was he or she was sick. Et est-ce que vous aviez vu est-ce que vous avez vu revenir ces sala ces travailleurs sur le chantier après qu'ils aient été emmenés en camion pour aller en ville. Site, after they were put in a truck and sent to the hospital. Je vous remercie, Monsieur le témoin. Je laisse la parole, Monsieur Thank le Président, à ma consoeur. Merci. Monsieur le Président, je vais maintenant donner la parole à mon collègue de l'honneur. Merci. Le Président, vous pouvez vous passer. Le Président, allez-y. Madame Jade Van Lee, bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. Madame et Messieurs les juges, bonjour. Bonjour, Monsieur le Président. In and around Bonjour the courtroom. Good morning, uh, Mr. Winnet. My name is Jade Van Lee. I am the civil Lee. party Je lawyer. Pour les I have observed since Friday that you have uh, provided uh, certain statements before this chamber. And now I would like you to make a uh, Clarification Et j'aimerais à présent uh, que vous apportiez quelques éclaircissements sur différents points light, uh, the courts. de façon à éclairer davantage la Cour. When you left K4 at Lorsque Kmuen vous avez quitté Kapsre, K4 à Kampong Kampongchnang, vous avez été envoyé sur le terrain d'aviation de Kampongchnang. That uh, you went to Kampongchnang. On uh, the 15th of uh, January 1978, uh, what were you told then? Answer. Réponse. We were told that uh, we would be sent to construct uh, the airport in Kampongchnan. Oh, good luck. Question. Council. Thank you. Who told Merci. you that? Qui vous a dit cela? Answer. I Réponse. could recall that. Comrade Dern, 
who was from the southwest zone qui de la came zone to replace the, the former cadre and he told me that council thank you cela. question You stated before this chamber Vous avez that dit uh, you chambre, no longer, you were no longer a soldier que by then. Plus à ce and when were you disarmed before you were sent to the airfield? Quand vous avez été désarmé avant de vous rendre sur le terrain d'aviation? Answer. I réponse. had no rise to hold any Je weapon after I fell handicapped at K4. Depuis que j'étais devenu handicapé. Council, thank you. Question. Upon your arrival at the airfield, did you go with your group? With your own group, or were there any other members from division uh, going with you as well? And who divisions? were there to receive Et you all? Vous a sur place? Answer. Réponse. Comrade. Don from the southwest zone, Don, who was there to the receive us at Kampungsnan. Council, thank you. Question. Upon Merci. your immediate arrival, did you met? Did you meet uh, Tal Wei? Avez-vous rencontré Tal Wei immédiatement après votre arrivée? Kimbatam. Answer. Upon réponse. our arrival, we did not uh, see Talvey there. Nous n'avons pas vu Talvey à notre arrivée. Council, how many Question. after that you met uh, Talvey, or did you ever attend the meeting arrivée? which uh, was which uh, Talvey attended? Avez-vous participé à une réunion à laquelle uh, participait Talvey? Witness. I could recall that two months later, Réponse, I met mois après Tal Wei. Tal Wei Council, was Tal Wei in charge of that uh, Kampongchnang airfield? Question, était Tal Wei le responsable de l'aéroport de Kampongchnang? Answer, uh, yes, he was... Uh, responsible and in charge of the dead oui, airfield. No. Question. Besides Talavay, did you see any other leaders? That is Talavay's superiors or his exemple, deputies de coming to the work site? Qui serait venu sur le site de travail? Answer. Besides uh, Talvey, there was Tamet. Il y avait Tamet à part Talvey. Question: Did Tamet visit the work site often? Tamet se rendait-il souvent sur le site? Answer: Only once in a while. Seulement une fois de temps en temps. Probably on a weekly basis, he visited the work site. Question, how did he go semaine. to the work site? Was he escorted by bodyguards or did he walk through the work site? Answer, during his visit, He was always in a jeep with two to three bodyguards. Question. Question. After Tamet visited the work site, did he return to Talvey's office or did he uh, leave the work site? Une fois qu'il avait terminé sa visite sur le site de travail, ou quittait-il le site? Answer. Réponse. I did not know about that. 
I did not know whether he left the work site or he went to uh, the office or he went elsewhere, as I did not even dare to look at his face. Question. Question. Last time you testified before this court that leadership level of the uh, North Zone had been arrested and replaced by cadres from the Southwest. Did you know any of those Southwest cadres? And did you ever see the Mok visit the work site? Connaissiez-vous ces personnes et avez-vous jamais vu Tamok venir en visite? Answer. Réponse. At that time, Southwest cadres came to replace the previous cadres, and I did not know any of those uh, Southwest cadres. As for Tamok, I never saw him. Question. Don't you recall any named or cadres from the Southwest zone? Answer. Réponse. Those people who were sent to supervise K4, uh, replacing North Zone cadres, included Daun. Question. Question. I'll now return to Question. the issue of Je the uh, airfield work site. While you were working there, did you witness any accident related to a work there? Or work related injuries? Answer. While I was working there, I saw some workers who failed and became unconscious from intensive work. Question. Among those workers working at the airfield, Question. and you already testified that there were a mixture of men and women, and from your observation, were there more men than women? And what were women assigned to do? Answer. There were more men than women. And they were assigned to work uh, separately. I only saw the women's group when they left for their work at the work site. Question. So from what you said, there were uh, many workers from various divisions working at the airfield. What about eating? Was there a common eating? Was a bell rang so that you could go to collect your food ration? Or did you eat on site? Answer. We ate within our companies, and the food was given in ration to each member of the unit or the respective company. Question, what was the food ration, or could you eat freely? What, what kind of rice that was given to you, and what about the soup? Answer, there was a soup, and we were given a bowl of rice, but it was not enough. Mais ce n'était pas suffisant. Question. In terms of food ration and the uh, work you did, 
was the food sufficient, I mean, proportional to the workload? And the, no, it was not enough, and we did hard work, and the food given to us was little. Question. I'd like to ask you about the uh, work assignment and distribution. Vous poser des questions was sur work la classified as heavy work or light work, or whether en de it was not considered that way, but the entire unit was working together? And the for workers working at the airfield, we worked in groups, site, nous and we worked uh, separately from other groups or units according to the assignment for our group. Question. Question. While working there, did you work did you usually work only with your uh, hands and light, light tools over heavy machineries used? Quelques outils ou est-ce que l'on utilisait des gros engins? Answer. Réponse. We worked according to our assignment. For instance, Sometimes we had to have holes to dig the ground for others who had to pull grass on the airfield, they also uh, needed holes. As for workers dealing with uh, rock breaking, they would be given hammers to do that kind of work. Question. Previously, you testified before this court that you were sent to attend a technical training session for a period of three months. What was the name of the person who made a request for you to go to attend the training? Was it Han or was it Pan? And what was his Position. Suivre cette session était-ce Han ou était-ce Pan et quelle était sa position? President, uh, witness, please wait. President, Monsieur, demandez qui attend. attendre. Defense Counsel Andaguse, tu as le flow. Maître Andaguse a la parole. Oui, je vous remercie. Yes, thank pour you. Clarifier, um, to clarify, um, the dans la version française, on a entendu um, uh, que le témoin serait parti en séance de rééducation that, uh, pendant trois mois. Il me semble que dans ses dépositions, il a parlé d'une formation d'arpentage. Donc, uh, je voudrais clarifier. Then, uh, parce en français, en tout cas, c'est pas uh, clair. Uh, uh, like so Merci. 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 I like to ask the witness to clarify the matter that he was sent to attend a training session on land surveying. And I'd like to know whether it was Han or it was Pan who submitted a request for him to attend the training. That is the nature of my question. Answer. Réponse. It was Han who made a proposal Han for me to attend to the technical training in land surveying. Question. Question. What, what topics were taught for this land surveying course. Et qu'est-ce que l'on apprenait au cours de ces formations? And so, Quelles étaient les matières enseignées? Réponse. It's going to be a rather detailed response so that the chamber is clear once and for all. On the issue of land clair. surveying, en ce qui concerne l'arpentage, d'abord, compact 
so a compact roller will be used to flatten the ground. Then we use a marker and we place it on to the ground to get a soil for testing. And when we got the the volume of the compressed soil, which is 90%, max minimum, then we were sure that the soil was compressed enough. And here we only get 70% result, then the soil compactor roller will be used to compress the soil again until we get the 90% result. Question. You said you attended that study session in Phnom Penh with your instructor Cambodian or foreign and where was the course held? Answer. The course was held in Phnom Penh. However, I did not know the location where the training was held. I believed it was at the south of the Pochentong Airport. Question. Was the instructor local or foreign? Question. The instructor was Chinese, assisted by an interpreter. Question. Besides the technical training you attended during that training session, was you, were you taught any political issues? Est-ce que l'on vous a également donné des enseignements d'ordre politique? Answer. Besides the uh, technical course. We were told to strive to work hard according to our respective work assignment. For instance, in my case, I was for the land surveying. If I made a mistake that I misunderstood the level of uh, land compress, land compact, then I will be subject to disciplinary action. Le degré de compactage President, du the sol, time is appropriate for a short break. The chamber sanctions. takes a break now and resumes at 10.30. Court officer, please assist the witness during the break at the waiting room for witnesses and experts and invite him to return to the courtroom at 10.30. The court is now in recess.